Over the last decades, the Red Cross Red Crescent movement has continuously improved how it supports people and communities affected by crises nationally, regionally and globally. This includes our surge capacities. A range of surge tools allow the movement to scale up effectively in a crisis in a systematic and coordinated way that's accountable to the affected people and contributes to building capacity of national societies. Deployment of surge tools in recent years has shown there are areas that need to be improved. And so, a comprehensive process of surge optimization has started to make sure the movement's surge tools are fit for purpose. All components of the movement are called to play their part in realising our common ambitions to have a surge system that works for people going through crises no matter where they are. The first stage in the surge optimization process was to identify the issues and gaps in the surge system. A global tools review was carried out. It included reviews and consultations with over 160 experts from inside and outside the movement. It also looked at the changing nature of crises, finding that crises are becoming more complex, lasting longer, and affecting more people. Climate change is increasing the risk and intensity of disasters. Densely populated urban areas are becoming more disaster prone, and more people are being displaced across borders. A set of recommendations on how we can improve our surge system is being implemented. The whole movement has a part to play. National societies, IFRC and ICRC, are working together in a joint effort through seven thematic work streams. The process of transforming our surge system will be completed by 2020. What will our future surge system include? Revise standard operating procedures with clear roles and responsibilities, classification of crises, criteria for deployments and finance procedures. Response planning based on needs assessments that use up-to-date methods. New ways to better support slow onset and protracted crises. And a smoother transition from response to recovery. This will create a system that is better able to deploy the right people and services to the right place at the right time and will be as local as possible but as global as necessary. Staff and volunteers will have equal access to surge networks through a new competency-based framework and improve their learning and development. Leadership and coordination abilities will be increased and issues such as protection, gender and inclusion are mainstreamed into all our responses. With the optimised surge system, we will be able to provide faster, better and stronger support for people going through crises. But it will not stop there. We will continuously improve and innovate in our ambition for operational excellence.